Hey everyone, Joe here from joecrowtheaudiopro.com. I want to show you my technique, my workflow, how I get a smooth and professional sounding vocal track. Got quite a stripped down track to take a look at. It's mainly just vocals and piano. There's a little bit of, of cello in there as well. I want to really be able to hear what, what the vocals are doing. So let's start off by playing a little bit so you can hear what they sound like with everything on. <laughs> Okay, so it's nice and smooth. It's not too much, uh, not too much processing on there. I wanted to keep it quite a natural sounding piece. Um, and let's take off everything and just listen to the audio recording. Playground school bell rings. Okay, so it's a nice recording. I'm happy with that. I used a Audio Technica 2035, I believe. Love that vocal mic. Uh, and I'm going to take you through my process in the order that I would be be processing the vocals. So the first thing I've done, I've gone through and I've cut it into pieces in certain areas, as you can see. Even though the compressor is going to be working hard, bringing down those extraneous um, high levels and just smoothing everything out a little bit. I've gone and I've dropped the levels where, we, where it's getting very loud so the compressor doesn't have to work quite, quite so hard. I don't want it to be too obvious when the compressor's really crushing crushing the audio. Um, so yeah, that's what I've done first. I like to chop it up and just get a general nice sounding level throughout with the rest of the instruments. So Even with everything off, it, it still sounds quite balanced with the piano, just because I've balanced out those levels. Now I'm not sleeping. But it does need some work, definitely. Even though it's quite a simple piece, I don't want the piano and the vocals to muddy each other. You want to be able to hear them clearly. So I started off with an EQ. I've just gone for the standard seven band, uh, the Pro Tools default. I do like using default plugin plugins where possible. Playground Let's see what I'm doing here. So I've got a, a high pass filter on there. Playground Just to cut out the low end. I like to cut between 50 and 100 normally with vocals. But it's going to depend. It's going to depend on, on what sounds good. There's no hard and fast rule. I don't like using um, EQ templates or anything. You're just going to have to listen. Playground school bell Too much. Rings. We don't want to take out all the body. Again. I've then taken out some of the low frequencies. Playground so it's not a high pass, it just smooths out the curve. Rings again. Play. And if we listen now. Rings. It helps it stand out a little bit. and keeps the bottom end from becoming muddy. I've also dropped in a little notch filter here. Um, Hello, I don't I like this. Your mind this nasally, you uh, this nasally boxy mid frequency. So I'm going to cut that out. Um, Hello, a good 6 dB Hello. or so. Now, I don't tend to boost before I've compressed. So you can see these are all cuts here. I want to get rid of the frequencies I don't like first. Um, I've also 
dropped it around 3k i just want it to to fit nicely with the piano um, you can see i boosted it around there on the piano just so they play nicely with each other then the second thing we've got on the vocals is a de it cuts out the s sounds that you get with almost any vocal track has no one it can be quite harsh she's not especially there let's let's focus on that told you she's not i'm using the waves deesser this is one of the few that i do like to just just stick on the uh, the preset there told you she's not told you she's not told you she's not it just lessens the harshness slightly and I've all I've done is change the frequency a little bit to fit the singer's vocal because no vocal and vocalist is going to be the same you're going to have to tweak where the frequency is on the on the uh, on the DSer now let's get to the compression I've used the Waves R compressor on this. It's one of my favourites to use on vocals. Soon it's quite a dynamic piece. The way I like to to set my compressor, Soon I'll get it going. I'm going to find. I'm going to find where where the louder phrases are. Just kicking in for those. Me, I'm, not I'm gonna switch to opto Hello, for a smoother compression. I'm gonna drop that ratio down. I wanna compress a bit more than that. Keep those vocals tamed. So you can Don't try to I'm gonna start listening with the piano now because I wanna hear what it's gonna sound like. Uh, in context. Hello, I am the okay, we can get it kicking in a bit, a bit more quickly. You, so I want to keep those. I want to keep the beginnings of the words. And keep the compressor activated for a little bit longer. I'll bring the bring the release back quite a, quite a long way because the words are long. Okay, I want the, I want the compressor uh, coming out in the middle of the word. Okay, sounds smooth. Now let's get it cutting through. I'm going to add, after now I've compressed, I'm going to add some accentuations, some boosts in the EQ area. Body. Low, low frequencies. I like to boost it at 1k here as well, especially for this particular singer. Not too much, but getting that mid, that mid boost to get it to stand out from the piano. boost up at around 6k we've got a boost around 3k on the piano okay. little high shelf let's see where we are now Subtle. It's quite a quite a straightforward track. I just want to smooth it out, and I want it to be clear playing on top of that piano. Okay, 
okay this is probably my favorite bit reverb and delays now the original song has quite a lot of reverb and delay i'm going to go for a similar kind of feel not go crazy i don't want it to to make it sound muddy but i've got quite a long reverb on here let's have a look i've set it up as a an auxiliary send i'd never put well almost never put a put a vocal or delay plugin directly on the track it gives you more uh, more control putting it as a bus so what have we got I've got three second a three second plate I'm using the waves H verb and I've taken out some of the low end and some of the top end let's have a listen As no one told you she's not just so you can hear what it sounds like Nice. Now you can see here as well that I've sent the vocals to a bus and then that bus is side-chained to a, a compressor on the reverb. So what that means is when the, the vocals are going, no sending through to the bus, that's when it's activating that compressor on the reverb. What that means is we're only really hearing the tail of the reverb after the vocals have finished and it just stops it from getting muddy it stops it from bringing the level too high when you have the reverb on top of the original vocal let me show you Has no one told you she's not breathing without hello i am your mind Give The vocal is Hello has no The reverb is swelling after the vocal's gone quiet. Not breathing. Whereas without the compressor Hello, I am your It's just straight in. Mind. It's getting a bit loud. It's getting a bit muddy. Now let's take a look at the delay. I've got the native instruments replica here. I've got it as a straight 1-4, a little bit of saturation, a little high pass and low pass. This is what it sounds like. Has no one told you she's not breathing? Hello. And again, I put that on the bus and dialed it in. Mind giving you some And then I got a little bit of automation on that delay where I've brought the level up at certain certain areas at the end, ends of sections for example. Let's listen to it right at the end. You can hear the, the tail of the delay just, just carries on a little bit longer for a nice smooth outro. So that's everything on. Let's give it a little AB, see what it sounded like before and then after all our processing. That's typically my method of, of mixing vocals. I'm going EQ cuts, then I'm going compression, I've got a de then I go in EQ boosts, and we've got the reverb and delay on a bus, but of course there's no right way of doing this, it's going to depend on the song. 
It's quite a straightforward track, this one. But I'd like to know what you thought, so please leave me a comment below. Let me know how you do your vocal mixing. Feel free to hit that subscribe button for more mixing and recording techniques. I'll see you next time.